Well, this place has really changed. You've been here before. We used to come here all the time. You and your wife. Yeah, it's so different. That blackboard was over there. And I think the salt and pepper shakers are new. Is that it? Yeah, that, that's it. You don't like change, do you? I, I have no problem with change. I just, I just don't like to be there when it happens. <sighs> Hi, I'm Vicky. Hi, Vicky. I'm Adrian Monk, and this is Monica Waters. Hi. I'll have the Caesar salad and some coffee, please. Great. And I'll have the veal. Okay. And, uh, I know, never mind. Okay. Uh, just wait. I wonder, could I get separate plates for the potatoes and the vegetables? You want them all on separate plates? Please. Okay. You don't like your food to touch. I believe most people don't like their food to touch. They, they just don't have the guts to admit it. <laughs> and I bet you bring your own silverware. <laughs> oh, please, I'm not a fanatic. So you said you had quite a few questions. That may have been an exaggeration. How many do you have? None. I have none. But don't you want to ask me about Grace and the neighbor from hell? No, I don't think he did it. I don't, I, I don't buy the motive. Then what are we doing here, Mr. Monk? I'm not sure. Okay, then I have a question for you. Sharona said after your wife died, you never left the house. That's not true. I went outside to get the paper twice. And now you're a famous detective. No, oh, far from famous. Oh, well, the other cops certainly respect you. The mayor calls you and depends on you. You're obviously out of the house. How did you do it? Captain Stottlemyre was worried about me and he hired a nurse to take care of me. She showed up one day and just never left. You got lucky, you found the right person. That's a secret, isn't it? How long were you married? Oh, look, a jukebox.